What's up everybody? Anthony here with Empire Music, empiremusic.com. Phone number at the shop, as always, 412-343-5299. The website, I'll talk a lot about that through this video, is empiremusic.com. Uh, I would think you would know that website by now, right? So, if you have been living under a rock, if you are highly disorganized and have no schedule in your life, it's a very strong possibility and you're missing out on our summer sale, you're running out of time. We got, what, like three weeks left here to take advantage of the summer sale. End of the month, it's over, right? So you're looking for a new guitar, you're looking for an upgrade, you wanna trade in, you wanna, you know, just wanna grab some new gear and get that into your arsenal. 10%, 15%, up to 20% off. So there's some really select, there's some tailors, there's some older Fender Custom Shop, we can get you great buys up to 20% off. Uh, there's really not a lot in the store that is not included in that sale. So even some of the really higher end brands we have, we can offer you some level of discount on. So again, I'm gonna say the phone number one more time and I will probably say it at the end of the video. So I'm not gonna promise that I won't say it again. 412-343-5299. You can also just email me, it's anthony at empiremusic.com. And trades are welcome too. We love taking some trades. We've been getting great used stuff as you've seen in Joe's old this week videos. Uh, if you email some of that stuff, include a picture. We'll just save that step and then we'll get a price back to you. We'll send you a shipping label on that stuff too most of the time to get it to us. Save you that 60, 70, maybe $100 if you're on the West Coast. Uh, anything in the video that you see, give us a call, email, check out the website. There's links on YouTube. If you're watching this on Instagram, there's a link in our bio to get to all of our uh, pages and a Linktree account in there. Let's dive in go this way. Fender Custom Shop. Uh, the 54 stuff has been killing all year. Really, really nice specs on it. So I have four 54 anniversary model guitars. Obviously, it's 2024 anniversary, 1954. Um, so some specs that carry over there, ash bodies, and then pickups are going to be similarly voiced a little bit different and the fretboard radius is going to be a little bit different on some of these too. So this is a 54 hardtail, so no trem. I love that because I'm a hack guitar player. I don't use a tremolo. It's only going to confuse my dumb bass player brain in there. Uh, but like I said, Ash Body. This one's in, uh, I believe this is, um, the, the names are really funny and I feel weird saying them and Brent's already smiling at this, but it's Age Dirty Blonde. I'm just going to leave it at that. I, I, I almost just avoid saying the names on this. There's a bunch of jokes that we could say <laughs> that are very off color. We're not going to do that. Uh, gold hardware on there. Uh, one piece maple neck. So cool. Uh, oh, and the profile on all these is the same. It's a 1054 V. So, or I'm sorry, a 754 V. So I think July 1954, that was the, the neck shape that they were doing. They recreated that for the 70th anniversary stuff on there. Um, like I said, hardtail. This has hand-wound 54 pickups in it. And then fretboard radius is compound, seven and a quarter to nine and a half, right? Now we just go to NOS, black finish on this. Same neck profile in that 754. Now I'm second guessing myself if that was a 1054. Either way, it's a particular month in 1954 they're recreating. This is a fat 54 pickup in it, so a little bit more winding on there, a little punchier, a little warmer of a tone out of these pickups in that. Um, but then you have a nine and a half radius, so a little change, change in the pickup. We added the uh, uh, tremolo and we went to the standard nine and a half radius. And then another, just an aged blonde <laughs> in this finish. Brent can't quit laughing at these either. The, Fender, change the names of your, of, of your, like, can you just call them a different iteration of blonde? It would be much better. Um, it's a two-piece alder, a two-piece ash body on that. Same pickups in that. This is also a fat 54 pickup in it. Nine and a half radius. The same um, month-specific V-shaped neck on that. And then, now, we're sharing some specs again. We're kind of going back to where we were at with the first guitar, but in roasted. So this is the 54 roasted Strat. Um, also notice these little handy sales tags on it. Wink, wink. Give us a call. 412-343-5299. Uh, 
Um, and this is Vintage Blonde. Can we just all just call them Vintage Blonde? Can we call them iterations of Vintage Blonde? I think that's better. Um, ash body, back to the 54 pickups, uh, seven and a quarter, nine and a half radius and uh, roasted everything, body, roasted neck, saves a little bit, this thing's actually very light. All of four of these were on the light side. I just dig that finish because I always say it, it's like that nicotine Olympic white, I really dig it. So 54 strats from Fender Cousins, they've been really nice all year, some really cool specs on that. A new one from Martin, GPCE Inception, Maple, right? It's a very, very cool guitar. I'm gonna let Brent try and get the camera in there. Take a look at that bracing on the back. See that? That's And it's also the same on the, the top here. Those are obviously the, the back braces. But in the X brace here, it's a scalloped, skeletonized bracing. So they've carved out points of those, of that, of the bracing in there, lightening it, hoping to add some resonance, some volume to it, some sensitivity to it. These sound really, really nice. LR Bags Anthem in it, spruce top, Maple back and sides, but with a walnut strip in the back. So a cool tone wood combination going on there. Walnut bridge, walnut fretboard on it. Everything sustainable on here. There's no um, pearl or anything. Like the inlays are, are wooden on there. This is a, I was, I didn't know a ton about the guitar when it popped through. When I first strummed it, I said, man, that sounds really good. Very open, especially with maple on there, which is a tendency to be a little bit bright. But with that type of bracing in there, they're not the first to use that bracing, although they're putting their Martin craftsmanship into it. So very, very nice. Um, I, I'd say not even unique. It's just a really big, nice sounding guitar that you get that chiminess and that top end from the maple, that little bit of bass response from the, the walnut stripe on the back. Very cool. I'm very impressed with this guitar. And it's kind of cool to see, you know, I know cutaways are a divisive topic on a Martin guitar, but I think it looks very nice too. And that's like the amber sunburst finish on that satin finish. It's just got a lot going on there. Very cool. Look out for those. That's, those are going to be, I think those are going to be pretty popular. Um, one of my, uh, this might be my favorite Martin model, J40. Beautiful, um, you know, with the inlays on it, classic design but it's got the cut in waist for a jumbo, but the big lower bout, forward shifted X bracing, absolute cannon of a guitar. J40s, obviously we do have a sale going on, summer sale, three weeks left on that. Street price, $43.99, right? And we're gonna do 15% off on this and other things. That's like such a great deal for this guitar. This is such a wonderful sounding guitar. You don't want to hear me play guitar, and these aren't demo videos by any means. Uh, another one of my favorites, I think they just look good. They're expensive. They sound amazing. I don't know that there's a bigger sound out of a small body like this. Uh, 00042 Modern Deluxe Carbon Fiber Bridge Plate. All of the bling going on on it. VTS top, VTS bracing, totally loaded out. Spruce top, rosewood back and sides. That was the same as the J40. I don't think I said that. And then... Two little guys here, two of, uh, you know, the sub 1000 range, finally in stock. These are like two of the more requested ones. Cool to see them. The Player 2 Series, I showed off. I think I did a whole video on Player 2 Series a few weeks ago. This is the new uh, Mexican series from Fender. Hialeah Yellow, not Birch Green, as I think I may have said in one of our YouTube videos, but uh, Brent um, uh, masterfully edited it out. I looked right at this finish. And I said birch green. I mean, I don't know what the lighting situation looks like and we filmed this on a GoPro, so it's always hit or miss. This is definitely not green, right? I don't know how I said that. But hi, Aaliyah Yellow. Those are my two favorite finishes in here, the, this and the birch green, because they're kind of vintage-y, um, muted, kind of aged looking. Uh, Mustang PJ base, we're back to rosewood, rolled edges, very cool. And then in the Jaguar, same deal, hi, Aaliyah Yellow in the Player 2 series. This is, this is finally in stock. And yeah, brand new, we're still running sales on this stuff. You see something in the video, I'll give the phone number one more time. 412-343-5299. My email is anthony at empiremusic.com. This is new this week and we'll see you next week. Thank you.